Welcome back to Manchester, guys. Good morning, good morning. The skies are blue. It's about minus three degrees Celsius. Good uh, minus for you. It's going to get to minus seven tonight. And I just want to see if uh, it chills the city or if it's going to be as hot and sweaty in people's uh, tortured souls as usual. That moment when you come to the city in your nice Skoda Fabia You're blocked in by the golf on the front and the discovery at the back Ave Maria Anus Dominus Deus Vortis Abidabudabi My eyes! Where's your headphones, mate? Headphones? I mean headlights In fact, where's your, where's your bum lights? Where's your tail lights? Where's your eyeballs? Whoa. Whoa. Uh huh. Okay. That's not in focus, is it? We're fucked again. Central Manchester. For, I thought I'd do a sunny one. So, Capone, come here, Capone. Come on, come meet the viewers. Oh, come on. Teasing me like that. Come on, Capone. Look at this. Way. Is he young? He's five, he's about to turn five. Oh, he's young-ish. Yeah. Come here, Capone. Sometimes that's like a puppy for anyone. Look at the size of him. Look at that. I've got big hands. Look at the size of my hand on that dog's head. Brilliant. It's the big ones are quite confident and relaxed, yeah. aren't they? It's the little dogs you have yeah. to worry about. Oh, I'll stick one under your digital. Nice one, mate. Well, and look at this little guy here. What, what breed is that one? Sharpe. Sharpe. Look at that. Go on, Sharpe. You can take this huge Marmaduke here. Come on. <laughs> There's our destination. It's like a mini Manhattan. A um, what was it? What was it? That I read the Big Ben <laughs> is going to be renamed the Mighty Mohammed. No, um, but it made me laugh. do like me a forklift truck. Think of the things you could pick up. Think of all the incredible heavy weights you could elevate. Anaconda Cut, eh? Anaconda Cut is a uh, famous uh, Jewish porn star with a very large member from the 1980s. See, when you've got a forklift, look at all the heavy things you can carry. I'm so jealous. I can only, I can only lift about, how much can I lift? I weigh about 200, 235 pounds. I could probably bench press around that. I don't know. But with a forklift truck, just think how many tons I could do. Why are they going this way? There's no crime that way. That's the outside the city. Think of what they could uh, think of what they could do if they went into the city centre and actually enforced the keeping of the peace. This is more for show. Definitely for show. They're taking it all away still here in. Uh, Pika, Pika, Cracky Gardens. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate it. Lovely man. The teacher 
is teaching his orange disciples how to fix the tram lines. Does anyone recognize this uh, location here? Yeah, mate. I'm not homeless. I just got out of prison. I'm going to snap your jaw. Pigeons eating fried chicken wings. That would be like us eating chimpanzee. Bit too close for comfort for me, birdie boy. So credit where credit is due as always. Check out this pun by Lidl. Our homage to fromage. And that's, that's the best one, but this one gets uh, honorable mention. Très bon, les macarons. Not bad. Wait, it's not a Manchester video unless we actually intercept Music Man. Will he give me an interview this time? Let's find out where he's going, where he's been. Or maybe I'll respect him. He might be locked in a very private act. I don't think the man should be questioned. But this is a rare off-duty music man, but he's still playing the music. Look at that, what a legend. Oh, there goes that cigarette. Oh. Wait, you can't just leave his music and bag here. Music man, music man, you've, you've, what about your bike and your music? That's amazing, M music man's got on the, he's actually got on the bus. Oh no, he's coming back, he's coming back. Music man, how are you? Good to see you. Very, very well. All the viewers love you. You're the favorite character that appears in all the videos. And everyone always wants to know, where are you going with the music? I'm going somewhere. Happy New Year, man. All the best to you. See you, bye bye, God bless. Oh, it's okay, you'll, you'll make the video better. <laughs> Not with my face, I hope. Uh, I don't know, you've got the Sigmund Freud look-alike thing going on there. <laughs> I just want to say, sometimes a cigar is just a cigar. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. The police cars in uh, Blade Runner 2049 were also Peugeots, albeit flying Peugeots. Red brick blue sky and the interaction the rain I've actually got a Californian watching my screen right now any uh, kind of West Coast words for my shot here we usually say I don't know cowabunga yeah and uh, what's now what else do Californians say hey man that's radical dude yeah radical very good Charlie <laughs> thank you Ay caramba, Tabasco is dead. And check out these lights, these lights over here. Look at it. Come on, camera, I'll figure it out. Come on, camera, figure it out. Oh, I don't think it's going to figure it out, guys. Anyway, the Tabasco, <laughs> this, this it. Fuck you, Tabasco. See that building? That's all shiny. That's what I was trying to capture. Check this out. New apartments here on Ancoats, Great Ancoats Street, south facing. And uh, it's still about minus one degree Celsius. It's gonna get to minus seven tonight. But when you have a south facing building, the sun warms up your apartment all day. So eco. Wait for it, wait for it, it'll come, I promise you, I promise you it will come, just wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, and there you go.
Oh, no, thank you. But God loves you as well. <laughs> Wait for it. Here it comes. It's going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. One exclamation. Go on. One more. One more. Just one more. One more. A good one. Oh, I'm not liking the look of this image. Police van directly ahead came blasting in. Blue lights flashing and they're going towards Primark. Actually, they're passing Primark. This could get exciting. Let's go and have a look. Went down the side alleys behind Piccadilly Gardens. Shit, no, he's, he's getting he's had a heart attack. Don't want to film that one. Oh, shivers. Very big guy. Oh, shit. Hope he makes it. I'm not filming that. I'm not filming that. He's getting his uh, CPR chest compression. They've got seconds to save his life. Here we go. Hope he makes it. Now, if you ever worry that human beings are not good creatures at heart, most of us are. And just watch how everyone, everyone's going to do their very best to save this man's life. Ah, uh, there we go. From what I could tell, he's a construction worker, painter, decorator. You can tell by the boots, the trousers, the plaster spattering. It works in construction and uh, he's getting CPR. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Hope he makes it. Policeman came up to me and said, Charlie, please don't film this. I said, no, 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 my sentiments exactly. Exactly, bro. The street's now been closed off. Um, there's a lot of medical personnel. I can see a defibrillator being brought out. I'm praying for a happy ending here. Praying. We've had too many heart attacks, too many cardiac incidents, too many people with injured hearts, too much myocarditis, too many, too many bad hearts. So, so Thomas, thank you for showing me your art. And do you want to share with the viewers what happened with your dog? 
you want to talk about that or, or not? Yeah, 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 go on. Yeah. What happened with your doggy? The dog got hit off um, a big white pit bull with a brown eye. Um, they brought it up. Um, some kids who were met in town brought him to my house and they wouldn't get out, they wouldn't move it from my house, wouldn't move it. And they was intimidated and all that. I know, you know what I mean? Uh, um, I got go police and all that, so I'm pretty scared of them, but... Um, a pit bull? Yeah, they yeah. just set the dog on my dog and the dog ate my dog and nursed my dog. I, cried, I took him to the PDSA and all that. And the dog passed yeah, away? Yeah, yeah. the dog and died? I also noticed of him. Yeah. He had a doll in him and he asked the PDSA to check him, if he, you know what I mean? And um, Boxing Day, I went, went shopping and that happened to the dog and... Um, I didn't see none of it. It all happened in me. They went to me house, went in me house, done it in me house. I was in the shop, come back, and that's what happened. They put all my windows in on my house and everything. They, they, all over my house, and I don't feel safe, so I come here, sit here every day. Yeah. So they, and I don't care if I'm going to live um, in prison, so I don't feel safe in my house now. Yeah, you know I'm sorry, I man. I don't feel, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, then, Thomas. Uh, I've had, uh, this is the Royal Exchange Arcade and center shot. There's a guy asking for money of two ladies sat down. And even behind him, there's a fluorescent security guard walking towards me. I just like the perspective. I like the 3D implication. Of course, it's two-dimensional. I'm filming with one lens, but just look at it. Three officers walking with intent towards Urbis. Turns out they were walking with intent to get back to their van. Maybe like me, they've got a sausage roll to eat and no one likes a cold sausage roll. It's a bulldog goldfish called Spike. The very last of the days, urban sun. It's not late in the day, but as you know, in winter, it doesn't get very high. And uh, any minute now, the sun will lower itself beneath the shortest of the skyscrapers. Short skyscrapers, we'll call them sky ticklers. Sky fondlers. <laughs> That'll do, Charlie. Can you help find missing Anthony? He's 62, six foot one, white male, wearing dark cargo pants, a blue Berghaus fleece, and the black thick hooded coat. Anthony was last seen on the 19th of December, poor guy. That's a month ago now. Check out this amazing ceiling in the Crown and Anchor, just off the Northern Quarter and Ancoats. I was walking along and I saw a poster for the new, or something, the, yeah, the new Little Nas X. He is a musician. And uh, I just want to show you the image they've used. Um, he is, uh, yeah, he's in that position. And uh, I want him to do Islam next, to sell more albums. Do Islam. Wow, he's facing the wrong way now. That's some, that's some, oh, I know what he's gonna try and do. He's gonna try and jumpstart his uh, Renault Megane white mate with his Ford Focus. So he's turning around, holding up the traffic for at least 10 minutes. He's gonna do his 24 point turn. He'll, oh, he must be able to do it this one. Yeah, oh, he's, he's got it now. And just to my right, there's a big gaggle of crackies arguing. Do you guys remember Captain Caveman? All right, guys. All right, you got any spare uh, money for me? They were bullying Captain Caveman. Please focus, please focus. Mazel tov, mazel tov, mazel tov to my good friend Fred. Fred and his lady friend. I've uh, just had a big healthy baby boy born. 
and uh, seen the photos and the videos, he looks like a big, healthy, strong baby, so God bless you guys, and uh, congrats. Well, that was Manchester in the sunshine. Hope you liked it. Okay, I am now going to tell you the story of getting pulled over by the police in England, or anywhere in the world for me. My first ever experience being pulled over by the police. Let's get into it. <laughs> 